Here's a short video of a megalodon tooth that I found about a year ago along Calvert Cliffs and actually a big chunk of the tip of the tooth and some of the side of the crown was missing. I decided earlier this year to send it off to somebody for repair and I just got it back in the mail today. So wanted to just show what the tooth looks like. It's approximately four and a half inches on its longest slant side. And as I said, the portion that was missing and damaged that at the time really looked like feeding damage was the tip section here and some of this area here but about that much of the tip up the side here was all damaged and missing and the person I shipped this off to also touched up a little tiny bit of the borlet this brown colored band right in through here and they did an absolutely fantastic job because even as a seasoned collector of almost 30 years it's almost difficult to detect where they made the repairs and they match the colors perfectly and I'm um, Needless to say, quite pleased with this uh, somewhat of a late Christmas present to myself. They don't always come out this large when we find them at the cliffs. Um, and considering how large this one was, it bothered me for a while that it was such a nice tooth and so I finally pulled the trigger to ship it off and have it repaired. And I'm really glad that I did. So it's a pretty awesome specimen. Not sure if it's an upper or lower tooth, but I suspect it's a lower jaw position based upon just how chunky and thick the root is. It's a little over an inch and a quarter thick. And when I found this tooth, it was actually sticking straight up in between some boulders. And all I saw was about this much of the tooth. Of course, the pointy part wasn't there, but I saw the damage immediately and I just pulled it out and was amazed at the tooth, but at the same time disappointed that it was damaged. So there you have it, Calvert Cliffs, four and a half inches.